What's up guys, my name is Shishir Nangam and welcome again to our channel Journey to Freedom where you can follow along on our journey to financial freedom through the worlds of Shopify and dropshipping. So make sure you subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so that you get to know every single time we put out a brand new video like this one. Today we're going to be talking about how you can use the AliExpress dropshipping centers to find new and winning products for your dropshipping store. So make sure you stay till the end of this video to catch all the tips and if you're liking the content in our video drop us a like and a comment below to let us know how it's going let's get right into it aliexpress um, some time ago launched a new feature on their on this website called a dropshipping center and the way to get to that is first of all if you don't already have an account on aliexpress you, you can sign up for one for free uh, once you have one you click you just click on my account and that will then bring you to this page and up here, you'll see this link here for Dropshipping Center. When you click on that, that is when you'll be able to come to this page that is designed for dropshippers like you. And it helps you to find products that you can test on your own store. Now understand the motivation of AliExpress here. AliExpress wants to help you essentially to sell as many products as you can because that is how their sales volumes increase. So it's a win-win situation, and they have developed this, this tool exclusively for dropshippers like you and me to be able to find new products to test on our stores. So once you're on this page, you can click on this link here, find products to sell. And this is a very powerful tool that they have launched, which is um, you know very useful for, for um, driving new ideas, product ideas, that can uh, that can be tested on your website so as you can see different columns here so first of all you'll see you can set the price based on which currency you want up here um, and it'll list out the price of different products the number of orders that the product has received and of those how many are drop shipping orders in particular so that you can differentiate between um, customers who are just buying for their own use from aliexpress and dropshippers who are ordering the products for their customers on their website. Then you have a column with ratings, you have sales performance, and then you have an analyze section, which I'll explain also. Now, there's quite a few tools here for you to explore. For example, you can filter um, products by category. So let's say you're, you're looking for um, beauty and health, and you, let's say you're, you're looking at skincare. So if you click on skincare, it will then show you only products within the beauty, healthcare, and skincare category. So you have narrowed it down to that one particular niche if you're interested in that. You can sort by a whole array of different things here. So let's start with this. First of all, you can sort it by orders. So this will now give you the products with the highest orders right up at the top of your list. So that's a very quick and easy way to find products that are already working for other dropshipping stores, right? Now, at the same time, you can review ratings together because I would highly recommend that you stick only to products that have a rating of more than 4.7 on AliExpress, um, and then definitely do take the next step of checking out the reviews of the product on Amazon.com itself because nearly all the time, if a product is listed on, on Amazon, Typically, there will be a corresponding listing of a seller on Amazon.com who is selling the same item. And then you can check for actual authentic reviews of customers on Amazon as well. Hope you're finding value in the content so far, guys. And if you are, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so that you get to know every single time that we put out a brand new video. And make sure you stay till the end of this one to catch all the content. And comment below on what you like and what you'd like to hear about. Stay with us. So let's take this as an example here. Um, let me just open this up in a new window. So this is a, a lip, lip oil in this case. And you can see here, this has more than 15,000, nearly 16,000 orders, but the reviews are uh, rating as 4.4. So I would be cautious about that. It's a fairly low price product, obviously, but you can open up any product you want from here to go into and explore um, what the details of the product are. Now, another thing that you can do here is you can actually filter the listings by the ones which have a video 
in the product listing. Now, this is a very powerful feature, especially for dropshippers, because um, we often utilize video advertis advertisements to promote the product. And if the product does not have a video available, then oftentimes you have to go and find videos on YouTube or different places to be able to create a new video ad. But if the supplier on AliExpress itself already has a video, like let's open up this example here, you can see this already has a video ad in here that then gives you a video creative right away that you can utilize with a little bit of editing in your ad creative. So this is a fantastic tool to be, to be able to filter. This is not something you could do before on an AliExpress, but this is a very, very good tool to be able to use and filter out only the ones that have a video available. Now, um, as I mentioned, right now we're, we're um, filtering by orders, sorting by orders, so the highest orders are on top. Another filter here is orders up. Now, what does that mean? It's not very intuitive, but orders up basically means the, the products which are trending, so whose product orders have recently increased. So this is the AliExpress lingo to, and to filter for the products which are starting to take off, okay? So let's um, pull up a few examples. Let's say this particular face cream here, uh, moisturizer. Now when you, you can see here the rating is good. If you click on analyze, it opens up this page here and you can see the sales volume trend of that product. You can see here the logistics reliability is, is provided. Um, it's excellent in this case. You can see that generally there seems to be a bit of an uptrend for this product. Um, so that is one of the reasons why it's probably showing up in this orders up list. So let's open another example here. Let's try this one here. So this is an exfoliating foot, foot mask. Again, you know, you, you do have a video that you can utilize if you want to. Let's click on, so this, this has a 4.9 rating, so that's a good sign. Let's click on analyze. And you can see here again, there's an uptrend in the orders. So what this tells you is these products don't have a whole, you know, they don't have 15,000 orders, but they have been trending up. So that's a good indication that these are products that are, have not been saturated yet but there is some recent interest in these products and they're starting to sell well. So this is a good way by searching on orders up. This is a good way to find products that are up and coming that may not have been tapped on by other drop shipping stores yet. And that's something that you can try on your own stores to see what kind of responses you get. So this is, as I mentioned, a fantastic way to narrow down um, different products and get different product ideas. You can search by niches. If you can remove, you can type the specific niche that you want um, that you're looking for and it will give you the best results for that. So let's say we type uh, moisturizer. So now you're only getting results for moisturizers and you're getting the top products in that category, right? So if you sort it again by the number of orders, these are the highest number of orders. And then if you do it by orders up, it's gonna show you the ones which are recently increasing in orders and have an upward trend. Um, rating, you can sort it by ratings. You can also do a ship from uh, selection and filter accordingly. So all of these are very, very good tools that you can utilize if you have not already been doing so. This is a great way to get new product ideas that are outside of the box that are not uh, currently being tested by many people. Um, so make sure you utilize this dropshipping center if you have not already. It can be a great, great tool for product research and to get new ideas for your own dropshipping website. If you guys found some value in this video, make sure you drop us a like. Comment below on some of the product research techniques that you guys are using that you feel may be helpful for others to emulate as well. So make sure you drop us a like, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and make sure you stay tuned for the next video.